ikote and all that. I figured we'll did show that and immediately pass you on to our. She's still my favorite. I'm sorry, Tia. <laughs> Is uh, Lisa Makuha Elizalde our um, chief executive officer and artistic director? Do you need the mic? I don't think so. Can everybody hear me? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. Hola. Hola. <laughs> um, all right, so well, welcome to our press lunch for um, Bally Manila's Don Quixote. Of course, you know that Bally Manila has been doing Don Quixote since 1999, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in this version, in the same costumes that were, that was like first created by Arturo Cruz for our then artistic director, Eric V. Cruz. And uh, we've been dancing this version for the longest time. It's one of the staples in our repertoire um, of Ballet Manila. And we are doing Don Quixote, the full length, the first classical full length ballet since the pandemic happened. Um, and it is the second production of our 25th season uh, of uh, Hope and Homecoming. I think it's very appropriate to say of Hope and Homecoming because we are back home in our theater, home theater, a new theater after the fire and the pandemic. And I think it's very, it's, Don Quixote is such a ballet that it's so happy, it's so full of life and full of hope. And so I think it's very, very appropriate that we do our uh, first full-length production of Don Quixote to be part of our 25th season. And for this performance of Don Quixote, I will not be dancing Petri. Uh, um, and uh, I am, I, I had first invited uh, former principal dancer of Bally Manila, I'm sure you all remember her, Catherine Bartman, to dance uh, uh, Kitri. And uh, she, in turn, um, uh, volunteered her partner from San Francisco Ballet, who was Deborah Hernandez. That was the original plan. And then, unfortunately, Catherine suffered a, um, um, an injury about three three or four months ago. And uh, at one point, at one point, Catherine and I just sat down and, and said, okay, I, knowing how difficult Kitri is for the ballerina, and all those jumping, and all those turning, and all those relevés, and all those pirouettes, and uh, I, I had a heart-to-heart talk with Catherine, and I said, is it realistic that you will be able to dance Kitri in two months' time, or in six weeks' time? And, and basically, she, she cried, she was very upset, and we both cried, and uh, um, she said, no, mom, this I don't think, uh, and it's really worrying me. So I said, okay, Catherine, let's just make a decision now so that we can like um, make everything good for the, for the Don Quixote. And uh, so Pia is dancing um, the role of Kitri. It's not her first time to dance the role of Kitri. Um, and uh, so I'm sure you also know Pia from all her past performances with Ballet Manila. She's been a principal dancer in Ballet Manila for how many years now, Pia? Four, four seasons, yes, four seasons, including the two seasons during the pandemic. So here is a little um, AVP on Pia. Please enjoy. 